It's a Manchu, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. When last we left our hero, well, Arthur did a lot of bad things. I had to. I had to do it in order to raise the money to pay off the bounty, and somehow in the process didn't get more bounties. Um, it was a challenge to edit the last episode, because I determined that I was just going to grind. I was going to grind for money. I was going to grind for game hunting. And I played for over five hours. And there wasn't any story stuff that happened. So if you missed the last episode, probably didn't miss much interesting. I tried to edit it down so just the interesting stuff was included. No hunting at all was included Mr. in that. Morgan. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um... Anyway. Okay. Uncle Arthur. Look, everything's gonna be all right. I know. How generous of you. You're not a nice man, Mr. Pearson. <laughs> Stealing from us after all we've done? I wasn't. Pearson is a liar. I hear Mary's been seen again. Sure. Well, I always thought... Well, she seems real nice. She had better ideas than me. She ain't the only one. <sighs> okay, anyway. Um, stuff that happened last episode. A couple things I should point out. It, like I said, I had a lot of difficulty editing. Uh, I had a weird phenomenon. It only happened once before... Uh, and anything that I recorded where I got audio that was one second shorter than the video files. So the video file was one second longer than the audio files. And we're talking about five hours and 20 minutes of recording. And somewhere along the line, I got a second out of sync. It was near the end, I think, of, the, of what I ended up with uh, the edited version that you notice it. You might even not notice it's a second out of sync, but it, yeah, the sound, both commentary and game audio is a second behind the video, uh, which is another annoying thing. And I was at that point of the editing too tired to try and mess with and, and fix it. It would have been a nightmare to do so anyway. Um, but anyway, stuff that happened last episode. Um, I also practiced a lot of equestrian feats and I did showcase some of that stuff. And one other thing, I don't know if, how Arthur, big a deal this is. I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down what? Here, what they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm hmm. Great. <laughs> right, one last thing I wanted to mention, and I did show it in the video, but. It, it's something How are that you? I'm looking for some alone time, Swanson. Hello. <laughs> hey, Jack. Jack. Hi. There he is. How's the reading going? I'm getting better. Good. Well, keep it up. Bye-bye. One last thing I needed to mention. It it came up. It was just kind of a, a passing mention by somebody in Valentine. Whenever I go into Valentine, people will mention, you know, Tommy and how he was beaten with an inch of his life and how they're kind of freaked out about Arthur beating up Tommy and how bad off he was. And I was in the um, drugstore. And the guy in there said, well, Tommy passed. There wasn't much I could do for him. 
He's dead. And I thought, I wonder if there's going to be repercussions for that. Because now it's not just a bar fight in which Arthur really severely beat a guy. It's a bar fight in which Arthur beat a man to death. In front of dozens of witnesses. And I worry that that's going to come back to bite him. That at some point, somebody's going to get in their head that they want to arrest Arthur <laughs> and Valentine for manslaughter, at least, if not murder. Um, and that may come up because before I do anything else right now, I want to go into town and do some inventory management. I have some other stuff I want to sell. Probably want to buy some more ammunition. And so I'm going to take care of that first. Then we're going to go back and talk to John if we don't get arrested or something in Valentine. So let's get started. Okay, so actually I've decided I'm going to go to Strawberry to sell stuff. And um, there's a few things to check out on the way. Although I definitely Mr. need to check Morgan. out a gunsmith. Mr. Morgan. What? Reverend, I just want to thank you for saving my life. The liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan. It really isn't. I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. <laughs> You're not. Lying on the other hand, that really is a sin. Don't make me regret it, Swanson. Hi there, Arthur. Susan, you got this place whipped into shape, all right. I'm trying. You can only imagine what we'd be like left to our own devices. Okay. So, so. Hang in there. What, Arthur? Hello, Miss O'Shea. When you're done there, I think I'd like to check out that stew. How are you doing? I'm fine. Everybody's taking a turn. Usually I time it wrong and the stew's not available. You know, my mom used to make something like this when I was a girl. Oh, it might be at home? Yes. I hated it. Never oh. been better about them calendar boys, I reckon. Sure. <laughs> you know, I once saw Mac beat up 15 sailors. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. It was a heap of trouble, but I got Mike out of jail. Oh, thank you, Arthur. So where is he? Still out around that way. Looking for a peace offering, he said. I once speed up 20. Okay. Hello, Arthur. <laughs> but, uh... Hosea. I'm gonna miss Matt. He was a good man. Kind of fellow you are. Like to rob alongside? Yeah. You know? <laughs> hmm. Heartless son of a bitch. But he had a heart. Hmm. That makes any sense. <laughs> I know what you mean. R.I.P. Mac. <sighs> hmm. All right. I don't yeah. know if I'm reading too much uh, into it, but. When we were having that party for Sean, Lily seemed kind of withdrawn, maybe even sullen. And I wonder if she was uh, sweet on Mac and upset that, you know, Mac Mr. was Strauss. gone. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Evening. Hello. <laughs> Man. What's going on? Nothing too much at this very moment. Okay. Alright. There's my girl. How you doing, girl? Yeah, good girl. It's another thing I got in the last episode. A racehorse. She's doing good. Let's get you looking good. Mary Beth. Hey, Bill. 
Howdy, friend. Ah, look who it is. Can I, um... I'm sorry, but I don't have anything for you right now. We're good on supplies, and I ran out of lumber a couple hours ago. Seriously? I can't sell you more supplies? I guess we'll come back some other time. Huh. I thought that was an objective I had. Huh. It doesn't actually seem to be an objective anymore. Well, in that case... Screw that nonsense. Let's head into Strawberry. See if we can find ourselves this newspaper seller. There's a stable there. Oh, there's a hotel here, so I could get a bath here. I don't know if there's a barber, too. I also want to check out the taxidermist. See what amenities they have. Got it. Where is that guy? Can I even get to him? Looks like he's across the river. You all right? Oh, this looks bad. No, I'm not all right. It's real bad. Help me now, or I'm done for. Let me help you out there. Although, if you can't open it, I don't know why I could. I think we'll just have to cut you off. Oh, 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 God, you did it. Praise Jesus. Oh, God. You be okay there, mister? Uh, uh, grab something for, for the blood. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was uh, done for you. Say, lift me. Thank you. <laughs> you sure you're going to be okay? From my back for the trouble, though. I'm... Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, take a minute now. Rifle <sighs> cartridges, pistol cartridges. My leg feels like it's, like it's on fire. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna take all this. I deserve it. You gonna be okay, man? Yeah. And the thing. I almost didn't bring the trap. <sighs> Maybe you guess you shouldn't have. Uh okay, carrot. We gotta figure out how to get out of here. Oh, no. We're back in Valentine. You guys remember me? I hope not. <laughs> Cause if you remember me, Hello I'm in there. trouble. I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> I remember blasting my way through here. Oh, wait. Sorry, no, that's not what I want to do. Put that away. Um, it's kind of cold out. Let's go to... Outfits, winter. There we go. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Hello. You remind me of a feller I used to know. Oh. Huh. Sorry. Can't put my finger on it. See you around. There's a general store. What time of day is it now? Stealing and raping up the road in mountains. 
Where's you supposed to land find some damn people? The rest of cow's cat. Hey there, partner. Hey, they found Lucas. Hey, fellas. Hello, sir. Hey. Well, oh, there's a hitching yeah, post. That ain't new. Is this a hotel? So it goes. Hello. Okay, yep. there. Can I not get in there? Are there no amenities available here? Because, holy crap, I rode all the way out here thinking there's a general store, there's a hotel, there's all kinds of stuff to visit. Is there not? Oh, apparently I'm not standing in front of the hotel. The hotel's over there. Really? Tracker's Hotel. See, I got confused thinking that was a hotel because it has hotel on the side of the building. I'm just saying. And this does not have anything on the side of the building indicating that it's a hotel. Oh, wait, yeah, it does. Welcome center. Okay. That's not a hotel, but... Come on in. Just arrived? Wow, look at this place. Swanky. Um, I could use a bath. You arrange a bath, I need a wash. All right. Head on over when you're ready. Nice meeting you. I've been going with the full clean-shaven thing for a while, but I, I think I want to try a different... Uh, some kind of mustache at the barber. Cigarette card. Oh, look at that. Dr. Hawthorne's. Artists, writers, poets. All right. Well, it gives me more data points. Dead eye points. Need a place to stay while you're in town? We got rooms if the hotel's full. Well, that couldn't even get in the hotel, so it's probably his fault. Thanks for your assistance. Time of day is it now? All right, I don't think the shops are open yet. Hopefully, they will be soon. Hello, gentlemen. Morning, Mister. I like hey. your hats. I like those hats. I like to have a hat like that. Good morning to you. Love you to open? Like I've seen you before. Welcome. You have never if seen you me really before. Want to impress the mayor here, I'd pick up some grooming supplies for yourself and a couple of things by the door for your horse. You'll be turning heads. I have never been in Strawberry before. Still recovering from that day. Lost you have, a lot of folks. You have never Please seen me. fixed now. Yeah, <laughs> they fixed the jail. Oh, that's cool. I ought to check that out. You have never seen me in Strawberry. I have definitely never been here. Just wanted to check out something over here. I thought they fixed this. There still appears to be a hole in the side of the... I mean... Oh, look at that hole! How'd that happen? I have never been here and have not seen that before. Hmm. How odd. You know what? I'm feeling good today. Glad to hear that. I don't know they're supposed to have a kooky mayor here in this town, but I don't see nobody. I don't see no mayor. No, I really do, but oh, I can handle the blind. That too. don't seem like the best idea. Yeah. That just stop waving around. It ain't funny. No. Morning, Mister. Ah! 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 Jesus Christ! Ah! Are, are you okay? That don't look good. It's fine. I it ain't fine. Off this I see you bleeding. Uh, you just you shoot yourself in the leg? Leave me be. Oh, won't forget that. No offense, mister. But your friend's an idiot. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, he's an idiot. <laughs> Howdy to you. Howdy to you. Oh, I don't want to... 
I can pay bounties here. Uh, send to receive mail. I don't have any mail. Alright, I guess I got nothing to do here. Alright. Wait, 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 wait. Cigarette card. Well, looky there. Flora of Americana. The uh, Flora of America. Whatever. It's you! Oh my goodness! I, I can't believe it! It's not me. It's not me. I'm nobody. You never seen me before. I've never been here. You've never seen me. It's not. No, 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 no. You don't know me. Nobody in this town knows me. I've never been in this town before. I'm not in this town now. <laughs> hey, partner. Hello. I mean, I can, honestly can't help but be a little nervous that there might actually be people in this town that recognize me. Just, just a little bit. I don't think that's paranoia. I don't actually have any, like, hides or pelts or anything, but... That's, uh... That's actually impressive work. Well, I think it's safe to say that Strawberry was a complete bust. Alright, I'm gonna travel back. I might do a little hunting along the way. Oh my god, you guys are idiots! Hello, mister. Hey there. Put it on the oh, Somebody help me out here. Hey, let me help you with that. You guys okay? Man. We've done all we can for you. Come back for your money at the end of the week. I can't pay you in full for today, of course. The rest of you, stop gawking. Get back wow. To Come on. Wow. And you there. Thanks for the help. <clears throat> mister. Thank you for your help, mister. I don't know what I'm going to do now. <sighs> Well, I'm not giving you money. I mean, <laughs> screw that. Still rolling from the road. Help! 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 You better shut up that pretty oh, oh. mouth, or I'll shut it. Stay back. This here's a private affair. Hey! Are you okay, lady? Are you really gonna leave me tied up like this? I'm thinking about it, but... Here. Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. All oh, the things he said he'd do to me. Oh yeah, like what? It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again. Ah, 
best folks around here. <laughs> I know, right? They really know how to treat a lady. <laughs> Again. That's no way to treat a lady. And you. This is uh, very kind of you. Think of it as a treating women badly fee. Girl. Let's get out of here before he, before he gets loose. I, I'm never coming back for you. <laughs> so long, sucker. Oh. That's little baby Charles with mom and dad. I think. That's a nice photograph. All right, Javier's going to sleep. Well, it's three in the morning. Hey, what Arthur. you got there, John? What you got there? What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south oh, yeah. of the state border. Yes. Yeah. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant uh, for you <laughs> and that is a real idea i think that's the first time you ever had one of them <laughs> shut up you <laughs> might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent so we're doing it yeah we're gonna need ammunition guns look real frightening and some dynamite to open up the train i'll get the supplies Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. Oh, okay, There's yeah. There's a rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Okay. So that is gonna come to something. Mary Beth talked about this train full of rich folk from New York City. Reagans that can be stolen for John are blipped with that symbol. Let's take a look. Do, 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 the, where is that? It's over here somewhere, right? Yeah, it's up here. Yep. Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. All right. Let's head over to these Heartland oil fields and see what we can do. I want to steal that and take it. Where am I taking it? Where am I taking it again? Oh, I forgot about this thing. Pouring forth oil. Following Mary Beth's train lead, John and Arthur plan to steal an oil wagon for the... <sighs> he said where to take it, but it like went in one ear and out the other. His drunk old man has a date with a bedroll. All right, well, let's go check it out then. I want to put it away. Going foot from here. Hey, you're on private property. All right, easy now. Where is he? I don't know. He called me out, but he called me out, but I don't freaking see him. 
I literally don't see the guy. He's like invisible. Is that him there? That's him. That's the dude. Alright. If I... Okay, why am I facing that way? If I was to shoot him with an arrow... Is that going to start a ruckus? Yes, it is, because there's another guy over there across the way. He gets to live. Need you a little closer. Shit. Sun's gonna come up soon. Is that what I'm looking for? I just don't know where I need to take this thing once I steal it. I'm afraid if I shoot this guy, it's gonna alert a lot of other people. could get ugly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Take that. Yeah, that didn't go well. Glad I saved the game when I did. Um, shoot. The thing I'm looking for is right over there. The problem is that I don't know if I can get that thing out of there, with, out of here without, like, being spotted and having a bunch of people chasing after me. Just run.
it couldn't have been that easy. Did I spring a leak? I have to try this again because apparently that was the wrong wagon. I needed a certain specific wagon. It may be that I just have to shoot up this place and kill everybody. Which, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare. You look like an idiot waving that thing around. The hell with you! Oh my god, he just ran me right over. Go, 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 go! What am I doing here? What? How? Hmm. I'm truly befuddled. Uh... I gotta go get my horse. So I wasn't far out of range. Uh... 
Follow me, horse. I think I may have done it. I think I may have done it. Just keep, keep moving until they stop investigating. I think I did it. So the key was this. I didn't, I, well, I guess I had to find that through trial and error. Uh, where am I going here? Oh, I still have a $15 bounty on my head here. I need to go here. What happens is, as soon as you um, start shooting, the carriage, the, the horses in the carriage get startled and they run. And that's all I had to do is start a ruckus and get the um, horses to bolt. And then I could catch up with the carriage and get away. But that took a few tries to figure that out because... I got it off. That was a ridiculous pain in the butt. Yeah. Well, I guess I don't need the horses now. Okay. Wagon's in position. I just got to tell John back at camp. Yeah, that would happen. Um, okay, I think we've come to a good stopping point. I'm going to leave it here. That'll be it for today. Uh, that was difficult and rather frustrating. Uh, very confusing. It took a while to figure out exactly how to pull off that mission. That once I start shooting the uh, horses drawing that wagon just bolt and then I just have to run after the wagon rather than having to you know mow down dozens of of hostiles to, to clear that area out and that that would have been nearly impossible to do anyway um next time we're gonna go report into John hopefully he'll be back in camp and we'll continue to um work this train robbery job and hopefully, I'll pay off my bounty, and I'll make enough money from this job to make it worthwhile, worth the $15 bounty that I got getting this started. Tune in next time and we'll see for more Monchus' Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, I have 12.
Hit me. Yep, card. Fourteen. Uh, what's the door got? Hit me again. Well, let's try again. Seventeen there. Shoot. That's a terrible hand. Hit me one more Give time. Give me a card. You got too many there. Put you... ah. I quit. Guess I better go. Hope to see you for the next one. You'll never see me again.